this is a brand new spot. What's up guys, it's Boy Ethan. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, one day trip here in Barcelona, and of course me and this clown. We had guys, to- hope you're having a great all day. Right. All right, this is my vlog, not yours. We're just going to uh, check out the poker room. I've heard good things about he here. There is an EPT going on later this year. Wanted to check it out. If we're gonna play any poker, we'll fire away at some smaller stakes, maybe two, five, five, ten. I think is the biggest game going on, and I'll try my best to record the experience. But uh, I've heard great things about this area. I mean, it's right by the water. It's nighttime. It's really beautiful here in Barcelona. So let's run it up. Let's see how it goes. Let's check out the room, and uh, let's not get in trouble for recording. I buy into this game for eleven hundred and seventy U.S. dollars because. Well, I'm not the smartest and I didn't have any euro on me, so $1,170 converts to about roughly $1,000 euro with the casino fee, and let's get right into the game. Playing 2-5 here, I pick up 5-6 of diamonds under the gun and raise it up to $20 because why not? I'm here to play 2-5, here to play hands and get some content for you guys, so with a hand I probably shouldn't have, I get the button and big blind to call, and we're going to a flop, starting things off hot with the 8-7-4 flop. Flopping the absolute nuts, what a great way to start off this session, and action checks to the button player who sizes up and bets $50. Music to my ears, the big blind player folds, and I have the nuts. I have the best hand possible, and I'm going to be check raising for sure. I size with a check raise to 180 euro. Here, hoping that my opponent has something to make the call with, and yeah, he does. He sticks in an extra 130, and we're off to a turn with the pot ballooning up in this 2-5 game. Turn is the seven of diamonds. Pretty decent turn overall. The board is paired, which is a little bit scary. It brings in two flush draws. It does bring me the open-ended straight flush draw, and I want to think about what I want to do. My hand obviously wants to bet sometimes. It certainly wants to check a lot more, I think. So I'm going to check, maybe try to check jam, go for the elusive double check raise, but my opponent snap checks it back. So now we're going to a river, which is the nine of diamonds. Very interesting river card now with the flush completing. Backdoor flush at that, and I guess I have to bet something out. I really don't know what I can get called by. Seems like my opponent could have a missed flush draw. My opponent could have just a hand like a pair of eights, but I have a flush and we're going for some value. I size up to 300 now, sizing up here as my check on the turn doesn't make a whole lot of sense and now I'm polarizing, trying to get a non-believing pair to make the call and my opponent tanks forever in this spot. Thinks about it for a really long time and ends up just folding, showing the four of hearts. Did he just... Hero fold, third bottom pair? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what is to say about this hand. Maybe I lost value by not betting the turn because it seemed like he had a pair and flush draw. Maybe I played this one bad. Maybe I played it well. I'm rusty at these cash games, but at least we're winning this pot. Something that I'm not rusty to seeing are premiums. Pocket kings in the small one we go in this next hand, and I see that there's a hijack open to $12, cut off three bets to $35, and these are some really, really small sizings. And here, out of position, I'm going to ramp up the aggression, and I four bet to 150 euros. I keep saying dollars. I have to keep saying euros now. Not sure what's going on with these sizings, but anyways, we get the hijack to fold, and then the cutoff ends up making the call with about 700 euro behind in the stack. So now we are going to a flop in a four bet pot. This is a big pot here in this game. It's queen seven three rainbow as dry as it gets. Basically, just praying I don't lose to pocket queens. So definitely going to be trying to get stacks in here regardless. I see bet 100. Very small sizing, and my opponent ends up making the call. We're off to a turn now, which is the deuce of diamonds. It's basically a total break. Doesn't bring in a backdoor flush draw. And I look at a stack, trying to get it all in. It's about 600 euro in there. So I bet 250 trying to size all in on the river, but there's no need to do that as my opponent announces all in himself. Snap call, baby, with my pocket kings. Let's hope he has ace queen or something like that. River comes an eight, doesn't change anything, and my opponent has pocket aces. What? Kings into aces, not the most warm welcome at all to Europe here. My opponent had 650 euro total, and now I'm left with crumbs after running into aces here. Pretty sick cooler. And I'm not able to top up because I have no cash on me, 
But here, this next hand, basically the next deal, I get involved once again with King Jack of Clubs on the button. And this time with only about 300 euro in my stack, there's a cutoff open to 15. Sitting short stacked, I decided to just make the call in position and the big blind calls as well. So three ways to a flop, which comes King, nine, seven, two clubs. Top pair with the flush draw. I can't lose this now, right? Action checks it over to me here, and I'm going to be sizing up. I think I have such a strong hand, strong draw, we're multi-way, and let's just get stacked. And I bet 40, get the big blind to fold, but the cutoff ends up making the call. So we do have some action, and we're going to a turn, which comes a eight. He checks it over once again, and now I have a decision on a much more connected board here. I can go one of two options, certainly could check a lot of the time, but I'm stuck. I have a strong hand. I have a strong draw. Let's get involved, and I bet 90. Building the size of the pot, hoping to just somehow get it all in on the river if I hit a flush or straight or two pair combo, and well, my opponent ends up making the call for 90, so... Maybe I can get it all in. In the river comes a bink 10. Somehow I arrive here with the straight hitting that gutter ball on this river card. I break out on the flush draw and it might be better for me to get action. So my opponent checks one more time. This is a pretty easy all in for about $120, 120 euro, something like that. So I'm all in. My opponent snap calls with a jack himself. He shows jack seven of spades. Bottom pair on the flop, and we both go runner, runner for a straight. I don't love seeing this because I don't win this pot. We end up just chopping. Very unexpected chop here, but that's how it goes sometimes. I'm still nursing my short stack here, but I do pick up another fun hand to play. 10-9 of clubs here under the gun. I raise it up to 20 euro, and I get the cutoff. Our buddy Wolfgang, he's in here that I traveled all the way to Barcelona here with. He three bets me to 60 Action folds to me. I'm definitely not going to fold this combo. Don't love folding to friends anyways, so let's just try to play a big pot. Well, we're going to a flop of Queen Jack Deuce Rainbow. I check it over to him with my open-ended straight draw, and he bets 45 euro. I think I have a pretty easy continue here. Of course, open-ended. I wish I had some over cards to the board, but we can't be super picky. I make the call. Turn comes the four of clubs, brings in a backdoor flush draw, our backdoor flush draw, and now I'm sitting with the world, but only with one card to come. I check, and Wolfgang puts me all in for about 250 euro. Got a gamble here for sure. Once we see this turn card, it is a little scary that there is only one card to come, but here we are. I snap call, this time feeling a little bit worse because I have very little more cash on me if I lose this hand. If I have to reload, it's going to be a struggle, but I tell him I have 10 high. He shows pocket aces and the river king of clubs. We get there both ways. Nice to double up. Nice to needle my friend a little bit here after announcing I had 10 high. And I show the 10 high, and it is the winner. It always feels good to double up, but it feels a little bit bad because I didn't get a chance to reload and win the maximum. But I will say, at the very least, it is a small pot versus my friend here. Still needs to double up, but I'm stuck still about 400 euro. But at least we're climbing in the right direction. Hand following that, I pick up pocket eights in the cutoff. There's a hijack raise to 15, and here I'm next to act in the cutoff. And I actually decided to three bets to 50. Think that my opponent can be out of line. This is the same opponent who had jack seven earlier. So trying to isolate, play some bigger pots against him, and my opponent makes the call with a stack covering mine. We're off to a flop heads up, which comes king, king, five, two spades. My opponent checks it over to me here, and certainly a board I'm going to be C betting on. So I bet 40 here into the field. Got to protect from over cards and such. And my opponent does make the call for 40. And we're off to a turn, which is an eight. How the hell did this happen? How do I find a way to boat up here? And when my opponent checks for a second time, I mean, I definitely want to get stacks in the middle. I think sometimes I can check this turn card back, but you know, I'm stuck. I want to balloon up the size of these pots. So I size up to 180. My opponent is in the tank now versus my pot size bets. And he folds. So sad. He said he didn't believe me. He said he thinks I had a bluff. I wish I could show him a bluff here, but nope, just a full house and no value. But it is good from a morale standpoint. I have a full house. At least I won. Mid-session update. Does everyone just have the aces here? What's going on? <laughs> I'm struggling right now because I didn't expect to play poker today, for one thing. 
Two, I have no cash on me. So all I have left on the table is, is all I got to be able to play with. I might get called up for the 510 game, which will make things relatively difficult because it's actually uncapped. Anyways, that might happen later in the night, but for now we're just playing 2-5, getting involved. But I am playing with case money, which is a very interesting uh, perspective because I can't really gamble as hard as I would like to. But maybe that helps out with like discipline or whatever, but uh, I want to battle and play a lot of random hands. But uh, that's what's going on right now. I'm, I'm stuck. But I'm playing with case money. I have no euros on me right now. I have no USD. Fit nothing. Wish me luck. We're currently down $300, so that's the update. Let's get back into the session. I pick up aces. I raise things up to 30 here, 30 euros with the straddle on, and I get a caller from one spot, which ends up being the straddler on a very, very short stack with maybe like 100 euro in front of them. We're off to a flop of jack, eight, three, two clubs. My opponent checks it over to me here, and I don't need to size up too big at all, considering how short my opponent is. So I bet 25 euros, and he makes the call. Going to a turn, which is the 10 of spades. Board is a little bit connected now, and when my opponent checks it over to me, I decided to actually be a little more deceptive. The cool thing about against being short stacks is that you can check sometimes because you can still get it all in on the river. So I check back, and the river is a 5. No club, so the front door flush bricks out. My opponent checks for a third time, and it's a pretty clear decision at this point to go for all of it. I put them all in. It's about 110 euro total, and my opponent is in the tank. When I fade the snap call, it's clear that an overpair is going to win, and he isn't happy either about the situation, but he does end up sticking in a call. I assume my aces has to be good here, and it is. Nice. Woohoo, I win the maximum. Granted, the maximum is not a lot when I win it against by far the shortest stack at the table, but at least I get paid with aces myself this time. Looking like things are trending in the right direction, I pick up ace king offsuit and we're building our stack. There's an ungun open to 20, plus one makes the call, and I'm in plus two now next to act, and I three bet to 85. Action folds all the way around to the ungun player, and he decides to four bet to 500. Oh my goodness, what does this mean? Anyways, plus one player ends up folding. I have a very flip-worthy hand. Is my hand worth flipping at these stack depths? I mean, I have 800 in my stack now at this point after building all the way up from 300. I mean, do I want to gamble for the rest of my 800? I don't see my opponent really four betting this huge with a premium hand. And the good thing is that I block aces and kings. So... Why not? Let's just flip and gamble. I'm all in, and he snaps, of course. Oh, no. <clears throat> A-side. 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 The runout shows I have ace high. It's not very good, and guess what? My opponent ace high himself, followed by a second ace. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful game this poker thing is. I am not so good at this game. I get felted. I actually get felted in this hand. My opponent covered me and GG's to my 800 euro. It's time to reload. I just suck at this game, I guess. Fucking hell. Holy shit, I'm so bad. How? How? All right, managed to scramble some, some cash. I have just under $500 euros, 500 euros, sorry, not dollars. Let's just, let's, let's just see how it goes, man. How many more aces can I run into? Time will tell. All right, we're on an adventure today here. Uh, there's an open seat in the 5 10, 20 game. Everyone's sitting really deep. I have like $1,100 in front of me, so I'm gonna try my best to play that. 5 10, 20 with 50 big blinds, which is really silly. But to wrap up the 2 5 game, it was small, um, smaller. I got wrecked running to aces a bunch. I was in the game for 1970, out for 1140. I'm gonna buy in for 1140 into this 5 10, 20 game. Who knows how long I'm gonna play for. Uh, currently right now, it's like midnight. I've gotten three hours of sleep just traveling to Barcelona here, and that's it. So we go play the 5, 10, 20 game because those stakes are more uh, my speed, more fun. And maybe we can run up a very small stack because everyone's got like 10K in front of them. The literal first deal into the new game at 5, 10, 20. I pick up Queen Jack offsuit on the 20 euro straddle. Get an early position open to 50. Small boy makes the call and here for 30 more, of course. I'm sticking in here. We're gonna play a big one, hopefully. Much bigger game than the normal 2-5 game that we were just playing on. And the flop comes queen 4-4 four, four, rainbow. Small blind checks, I check, and the early position player C bets 20. 
He see bets 20 into a pot of 150, which is very, very interesting. But the small one player makes the call, and I don't see much of an option. I feel like raising here is very much an overplay. So I'm going to chill and make the call for 20 euro. We're now going to a turn which comes a king. Small blind checks. I check once again on this card that I certainly don't love. And my opponent now bets 300. Went from 20, almost like a 1 8th sized pot on the flop. And now we go a massive over bet on the turn. I'm a little bit confused, but when the small blind folds, it's a very silly bet in my position, but I'm never folding here. This guy seems very capable of having bluffs. So let's make the call another time. The river now comes another four. I check once again, hoping to get the showdown, and my opponent now waves the white flag and checks back. I show the hand and win. So Queen Jack's gonna win this very first pot. It's a very, very drastic change from playing 2-5 here because this hand all of a sudden got close to 700 euros, but it's always nice to win this one. All right, I'm recording this as quickly as possible. It's 1 a.m. I only played for an hour because I'm tired. That's really all it is. And I didn't have any money on me to play a 5, 10, 20. I was in the game for 11.40, out of the game for 13.60. That's a win. But overall, I lost today. I was in the game for overall poker, like 1970. So um, that's it from Barcelona. I'll be back here for probably EPT. I'm excited to uh, just check out more of Europe. So I'll be in Paris for more poker. Maybe this guy will be around as well. Maybe. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll keep racking his aces. It's perfect. But I'll see you guys next time. Not a great start to the Europe trip, but it's a long trip. So more videos come. I'll see you next time. Peace.